would you actually do like Phoenix dueling with a Bane to pressure the PL? Hmm. Oh. They could pressure the PL, or they could make sure that there's no Darkseer dual lane shenanigans with like because these two supports they secure your lane really only well. Only one left now. Observer Ward, so they see Xiao Wei. They can potentially just snowball on the tree line, and in they go, bringing him in. And Xiao Wei, the Shallow Grave is up, and the raise is Garner as well as Q taking a lot of damage. But Xiao Wei, the Shallow Grave won't last long enough. The Splinter Blast follows him down. The first one goes to the Wyvern, but instead Yao is TP'd on the way in. Shiki with a Laguna by able to find another kill. There's two for C deck, maybe chasing him down. Another life striker. Right over onto the brain sap. He's not dead yet. Bowling charging up, but Gata, he's in trouble. A double kill oh. comes in for maybe a Shiki to TP. Oh. Barely out. Almost denied unintentionally to the Wild Wings. Where C Deck could still end up diving in. Oh, they're gonna surge onto Siler. Down the bottom lane, the shards are she pushing him back for a moment. And now Garda, the eclipse just turns on. Siler will take a kill and they're gonna get more here. C Deck going too deep on LGD. The Bane catching out the Lina, and there's no control over an XZ, so he'll just surge himself away to safety. While in middle lane, you want to see Five versus Ice. There's the embrace onto the Winter Wyvern, into the Nova now from the Phoenix. Wyvern's going to get stunned by this Orizzi. He's just on the edge, but now will it be a dive into Spirits. He's going to want to, into the tree line, and Wyvern, the Arctic Burn, he's actually getting himself away. Back down the tower, the Burn does not last long enough to find the kill. Barely surviving, he'll embrace himself, but LGD now pushing the tier 1 tower on the bottom lane, they're still going to get what they wanted. More towers, unless this TP can do something about it. Garda going to start snowballing in, didn't bring the lead if he's got Laguna Blade available. They want maybe, but the Fiend's Grip as well is a nightmare. They can't find the opening. Also with the heal, the Bouncing Glaives going up, that brought down the Tusker. Shiki's backing up. The town will still drop, and Aggressive comes to the fight. Silent needs protection right now. There's not a Nightmare available for the moment, but there's a lot of PLs up and running, and they'll bring down MMY. Shallow Grave making it difficult, and the Darkseer wall and back. They bring him back, Sila. Look at him, let up, MMY stunned up. He'll go down as well into Sila, and Aggressive starting to walk over LGD. Zhao Wei still running out of here. Now does not have an Icarus die, but he can lend some spirits over, slowing down this PL, but there's more PLs where that came from, chasing in Zhao Wei, and this is a very, very dead dazzle. A double Double kill for aggressive, even more aggression into Yao. Is he gonna go into the tower? He actually dances down, looking for Yao, and the jump in front takes out the tree line, nowhere to hide. Yao no Icarus type, five seconds. Actually, yep, there it is. Lances will come in, and aggressive finds a triple kill underneath the tier three tower of LGD, while the tier one tower still remains. C-Deck are pushing out on the bottom lane, so uh, Sila was the man to come and defend, but there's a three-man smoke movement coming out from LGD, and Shiki walks directly into it. He does have a self heal set for the Nightmare from MMY, now a snowball going after that Bane, locked in position with the Hossard Laguna play that bring him down, and Q actually flying over the tree line that Noble won't be able to connect with anyone until Aggressive throws a fresh lance in, and they get the curse off! Maybe and Sila locked together, the Shadow Grave will be there, and now into the Eclipse, Guard is already down, to double kill for Sila, the Dark Sea Wall will still cause some issues until that Requiem pops out from maybe. Xyz on the run, moving away as fast as he possibly can, down the stairwell, but he cannot move fast enough not to get that surge off. It is a three kill for LGD against C-Deck, and they could potentially just pop into Roshan. Sigil comes in. Well, that's going to get take cleared up pretty early. Oh, that could, oh he actually oh, pulled back. Oh, They're looking oh, for it. The kill on the Dazzle already in the back. He's got three men up on the hill. They can't get back down. Silas trapped him, maybe trying to finish up Roshan. The snowball comes in. They're all trying to fight the curse and LGD. They're playing King of the Hill, but they are not the Kings. Garda dropping the Nova's also going to try and do his burn off, and they're actually fighting this one. Maybe it's winning Sila, however, trapped in the wall. He is hitting himself to death right now on the hill. Down he goes, maybe looking for an opening on Wyvern, but then he's actually embraced himself up. There's your he lands up. The Ego Simona will trigger aggressive. Does he have enough to finish this job? Back to the world of living, maybe. Looking for the kill on Wyvern, can't do it. And aggressive, the answer is yes. Shadow Fiend dropping quickly and down for the count. What a vac! by the Darkseer, completely catching LGD, stuck in the mud on the hill. That's still around. Oh, not again, aggressive. He's just, and he's caught. They know it's, it's a double ganger. And yeah, they do. They move over and attack. The Mana Star will trigger as well. Maybe winding up the ulti. She keeps trying to slow this one down. The Shallow Grave a little bit premature on the Shadow Fiend. Not to mention the Eclipse basically being blown. Fiend's Grip is still available here. And MMY going to try and isolate himself. Garda, Walrus Punch. He's trying to go for two different targets. And now you've got that curse over on Sila. But the Nova coming in from the Phoenix. MMY is dropping low for Sila. The Glade bounces again. The Shallow Grave is keeping MMY alive. He's got 10 stick charges. He'll survive through this one. Still no casualties of war and they're trying to escape, now they're back, back in again, the double stun, it's only on Sila however, they managed to get one away, and Sila giving life through that flame, Sila is going to just keep on fighting it, the glaive's around, finally they bring him down, but the attack is not enough to kill off the 
here. You've still got aggressive on the front line and living on 46 life. How is Z-Deck remaining alive? I cannot believe how manly these players are. Just silo and aggressive. In fact, the Darkseer is coming behind, cancelling the blink. And where is that opening? Yao still in position for the Nova. And where is that position? They get the curse over on maybe, but Shadowfiend already has the Aegis Team all on Shiki. He's trapped inside the pit. Sila, the extra damage that came out from Lena, but Shiki, he's still going to drop. The Embrace is there for the Nova. They back Shao late again up on the hillside. He has to shallow grave himself. Fiends will come down to him, and in comes your Snowball. They're going to have extra health aggressive. He's arrived, and he's going to be bringing down LGD. Maybe trapped in the river. He's got his turret wet and now dead. The Aegis Team will bring him back up, but Yao can't keep him alive. Garner, so low on life. And we've got Dragon Battles, while well, maybe caught inside the river. No BKB, no Meg. The Yules on the lead try and buy a space, but GG! C-Deck will take game number one up against the team, which everyone was calling the favorites, and the team which has refused to forfeit a, se a series. How fun is this match going to be? <laughs> I mean, we saw earlier, right, a match in which I thought Secret had the better draft. The key draft. heroes I'm looking forward to performing this game for LGD are the CM and Undying, actually, because if their early game does not have a major impact, I think c Deck are just going to go into a mid-game with... Uh, so they're in a position where they might be looking to fight. They're moving down the bottom river. MMY starts with a two-man decay. And Silo, well, he doesn't really want to be in this one. Now, there's MMY, the, actually the burn from the Iron Shells doing the work. MMY will be going down here. And the first blood is spilt by c -Deck. That's when the Sand King can actually go for an aggressive play because he can't get out with anything. They're coming Just down bottom lane, he aggressive. Level four. Well, where's that double gang? As you said, it's up. The tombstone will be dropped. Xiao Wei dropping low on this lane. Doesn't actually reach him. Forest Strike, where is it from? Yao still on cooldown. Now the double gang of four. Cool. There goes Xiao Wei. They can move for more. The Life Strike right control the Undying. The Forest Strike will come back, but they back him back into the Iron Shell. Gana still here. That's a huge decay. Gana's gonna get beaten down. It's a double kill now for MMY. The surge away from Darkseer is still level one of that Radiant Creep Wave. Maybe just around the corner. And they're going to loop in behind. Nope, they're going to decide to go straight through the tree line. And the blink fire strike. Sala comes in, burn them out. The global silence, however, allows Shiki to disengage once again. And Sila in real trouble. It's a clog up inside the tree line. He will bring down the animation and stun over on maybe the back back into a three man with the wall as well. LGD is a disaster under the tier one tower. Maybe it's being brought down by Q, the epicenter from Yao. He comes back in again, but who's he really going to get? The silencer is tanking through most of it. The sentry ward will be dropped. Then in comes Shiki. He wants Yao down. He's going to get a, a triple kill actually for aggressive while MMY out of the T1 tower trying to fight up against aggressive it's gonna be an ultra kill there's no real way to escape from this one lands back off cooldown there it is an ultra kill for C deck wiping LGD and only costing a silencer to do it throw away the epicenter but at the same time, all he got in return for it was a slight pick off on Silence. So they do find aggressive inside the jungle. No doppelganger available, but 17 one charges will allow him to turn the bar strike from Yao the back back in. And in comes Ember Spirit, still looking for that pick off over on PL. He might try and search for Wei, but while he's locked inside the steering chase, can't do anything. Garda with the slave. He picks off Xiao Wei to the double stun. Shiki as well. He's from the trees. The bar strike out, but again, Global Silence back up again with the tombstone. It's going to be a hard run out of here. Shiki behind him and Wei. They're going to find the pick up once again. C-Deck, they did lose their PL, will maybe get out of here. He throws down the Spirit, but Storm Spirit Sora is going as well. The brothers of Kendra and bass each other down. Q's behind, no silence for four more seconds. And the back, back up to the wall! You might have the song going down low, the attempt to TP unsuccessful! It's four heroes for LGD down again! C-Deck, what a storm! What a play, what a team! committed for the kill and it could have ended even worse. Is it really going to be better? I'm looking there. at Xiao Wei walking into aggressive and instantly getting lanced. The tombstone will drop from MMY but they won't care. Back back into another wall. You might get a searing chain but you've lost the rest of your team. Laguna Blade killing up MMY. Exiting into the trees. They're waiting for something. What? A mana void? To kill up that Darkseer? He'll still tank the damage style. That's level 2. Blinking forward. Now he's got a chance. Bringing him down but welcome back to the fight Shiki. Going after Sila. It's the fresh Orchid off the pack and M maybe you can spirit yourself down, but the mana is still there for Storm Spirit. Jumping in deeper, maybe just wants to run away. He's got a little bit of help from a Sand King in the neighborhood. Or at least force a buyback on Nember. Oh, they get Siler as well. This yep. is a problem. This is big. Global Silence won't have to be used, but the Virus Strike does come in, which means Global Silence will be used. Defusal on Siler. He can't run away. And three heroes from LGD, they're right in front of c -Deck. The Lancers will slow MMY down. And Xiao Wei was successful TP for the CM MMY. Ulti as well as Tombstone, but he just ends up feeding both towards c -Deck. And there's no buyback for the Undying or the Anti-Mage. This could be c -Deck's chance to take a mid-racks.
Shiki just, in fact, just jumps inside the base, pops the remnant. Now he sees MMY, but doesn't care. He's still got the Ego Sea model, the gem, the boots. There's no place for the for the get to hide. In fact, Xiao, the small jump. Avoids the Barra Strike with only a micro jump, but even Xiao Wei, he's starting to peel illusions at the back end of the play. They all could over on maybe, and C Deck, they can't even be contested because LGD cannot cast an ability. Not to mention, Global Silence is still up for C Deck and all these illusions. They're actually burning off Silo. They had to clean this up. Finally, Aggress is going to get Frostbitten, but pops out, and there's your bait. The knife done from Yao, but a better one from the Lina. You've already lost the Ember Spirit with Laguna. There pops your SK. Three down. It's about to be four. They're even going to feed the Courier. Rares for all the viewers at home if they can get it, and in fact they will. There goes Q, takes out the Courier, and LGD, they are trying to drink the well dry as they are stuck at base with no real hope of even coming out to C-Deck. All three heroes have no buyback. The most perfectly executed game of the tournament, maybe barring the 16-0 from Cloud9 in the group stages over IG. I cannot believe how well Cedic are playing this against one of the best teams in the world. And they're going more, they're going up the silencer. You may as well, after any mage, you may as well pop the global silence back and back in. This is over. They have absolutely been crushed. GG, LGD. Yeah, and their lanes are really strong, so it also Queen opens up possibilities whether they can Queen challenge the anti-mages from. Well. That's a very interesting last pick. So it's going to be a universe shaker, I assume. Sumail's pushing the lane forward. He wants to look for this opportunity. He's got enough stick charges. He's gonna, yeah, he's gonna go for it. There goes the ultimate first blood picked up by Sumail. Lana gonna try and counter him as best as possible. It looks like with the help of the tower, they might be able to get this kill. The Shaw Grave comes in on time from PPD. And now Sumail just trying to get that distance. There's gonna be no oh, heal out. The wand is not gonna be enough. Lana, he's gonna be targeted now by PPD. He doesn't have enough damage by himself, though it seems. But AY comes in from the side. And they pick up a two for one special in the middle lane. And that's what I'm talking about, CTY. Right now, waiting for Eagle to go for the dive. Let's see if EG respond with any sort of TPs here, or if they just give up PPD. He's been targeted by RTK. The Iron Shell's on him. Here comes the mass TPs. They do have the Luna, who's ready to go with that ultimate. So, but so too is Samael. Jumps in. There goes the Winter's Curse onto him. They're going to try and pop immediately. YJ, let's lose the ultimate. Samael gets off his own, but it's not enough to get a kill. As they e -hope just running over Evil Geniuses at this point. This was not the fight to take. Four down, soon to be five. His universe trapped in a corner up against. To creep leisurely, Ehom just stroll right into that tier one tower, pick up five kills, don't drop a single hero, and now get a tier one tower. That's the way you set the tempo for the match. Round Sumail's the real target here, though. DDC, he should pop the Arctic Burn soon. UI gonna be targeted. Sumail already caught. There goes the double disables. They're gonna try and burst a bolt down. They will be successful, especially with Lonim stealing that line strike array. Universe just throws out a Fisher to try and stall up Ehom, but they're gonna take the last tier one tower remaining of Evil Geniuses. 10k storm net worth to go in, you instantly get rid of it with just one mana point. Oh, fear. Spotted out by DDC and Lonim. They actually stole the blink, brings it back. Telekinesis, Winter's Curse is going to be coming in soon. Never, oh, never, get the pullback. Winter's Curse now laid onto fear with the Orchid on top. It's almost enough damage. There it is. Wicked sick for CTY. And he looks for more on the side of Lonim. PPD trying to go for the TB out, but no chance. Be home. The nukes are too much. Uh oh, fear. Spotted out here, actually pops a man to turn to fight YJ, but that's not the right idea. With the rest of E home right behind him, they lock down fear and will now free up the E home's just gonna go for mid as well. They have to go for this here. They're gonna make their initiation now. YJ has already been locked up. AUI sacrificing himself immediately. CTY goes for him and is gonna be able to lock him down enough for the shell grave. Saves him actually, keeps him alive. Meanwhile, there goes the Aegis already taken out. Winter's curse late into fear though. He's gonna be going down here. Couldn't afford that one. He does not have a buyback. Now YJ pops his ultimate, runs down to good game. 32 minutes in, it's 3 to 22, and the evil geniuses drop game number one. Great meme scores. Ehom just is completely dominant in this first game, and that was not what I expected. EG is typically the team that almost always walks away with that first game. Oh, there we go. All right. Yeah, no. Thank you, are we funny enough? Holy rubbish. Start pinging him out. Kind of work being laid down. He spots out AUI. They start going for it. Body blocking close enough. Samael's going to be able to get the chase. Do they have the damage already? It looks like it. CTY will be taken out. First blood goes to Samael.
Great stuff. Techie's has got a first one. Uh-oh, Fear bottom lane. He needs some help. YJ's got another Lance coming in. Fear has an extra movement speed, but he clears through the trees with a doppelganger. They just need the vision for the Lance. YJ gets it, and Fear will go down. The counter kill is there. One to two now. Advantage of EO. But do they actually have the chain stuns? to do so. Monom actually runs into a mine there, and Samael may have just gotten up a heads up, and there goes the mines, RTK runs right into that one, and now turn around, oh, no. oh my goodness, he actually catches RTK, gets the kill! The Voodoo restoration was not enough, and Samael, unbelievable! Three heroes there, just decides to go for it, doesn't even care, realizes what's up and not, and I mean, he's just playing so dominantly this game, he has four out of the five kills on EG so far, and the thing is, what makes this so important is that even though he did this last game, it was against a Storm Spirit. Storm Spirit can go to the jungle and decide to dominate elsewhere, but Razor's a hero that's Charge so static. from behind, CTY, he's going to be triple gang. To, he doesn't stand a chance against all of this. Fear moves out of his lane to go for the gang successfully, might I add. And evil geniuses seem to be looking unstoppable, winning every single one of their lanes down. YJ has to dodge the Light Strike Array there with the Doppelganger. If he gets hit by that one, the combination of nukes, Universe will kill him. Worry about remote mines as well. I mean, this is the perfect AUI hero because they're not going to gank him. BBD, he's in here deep all by himself. He actually pops the ultimate, gets that 17%. YJ into trouble there. Blue good. Blue plate goes out. He does have the damage now. DDC lets loose his own ultimate. He managed to pick up the kill still. Double kill for both of them. Fear going to try and run down CTY. Samael stops that TP. But the rest of the team is coming in. The mech is out. There goes the wall as well. Samael still fighting away with that flame guard. It's actually doing so much damage up against ROTK. And Fear has that extra movement speed. Track me down. Fear's going to go for it. Trying to run down ROTK. He gets that surge though. And back to the tier 2 tower. Fear will back up and heal himself off the creeps. He's so close to it, but... The pings are coming out. Not gonna happen just yet. The rupture laid out. YJ is not actually gonna pop the doppelganger in time, and now he's gonna be chain stunned down. He falls, and Evil Genius is now on the way out. There goes that cast, though. They managed to get him out. Dicked on to fear. He's running his way downwards. ROTK thrown out, and it looks like he's just gonna take out from the Maledict. Fear will end up going down. A one for one trade off. Samael. Maybe they make the jump here. Yule Scepter, Light Shrek Ray. They have a little good blade up in five seconds. Not time to kill ROTK though. The mech gets laid out now. Vacuum, they're running themselves away. Universe has a little good blade. Turns around, throws it on ROTK before he dies. Some mail though has got to get out of here. The charge is coming in. This is them trying to get aggressive. ROTK, he's been ruptured and his charge. He's just killing himself at that point in time. But he knows he's got to get back to CTY, but it's not going to change anything. Fear pops a BKB. PPD is going to be torn apart by CTY, but so too is CTY now going to be ripped apart by Fear. Running him down at E-Home because of that BKB. Have nothing to be able to stop. He's he's to he easily picks up another kill on the Phantom Lancer. Fear just keeps on running through. One, two, and now third on DDC. Some male snags it. Double kill and a triple for Fear. EG. Wiping E home and now gonna be ready to push Hill. AUI and Universe are already on it in the bottom lane. They've taken out that lane of Rex. They can now join Fear and Samael for what seems to be a flawless victory in game number two. E home, there goes RTK. Look good to play just to finish things off. There goes GG to call from E home. They know this one is over. Unbelievable performance by Ehome in game number one. Flawless is how I would describe both of these games. Game one for Ehome, game two for Evil Geniuses. I cannot wait. Gotta go for the bird. Yeah, that's a great pickup. I can't believe that didn't get banned out. Yeah, after I think the it's, first pick Wyvern. It's stronger than Clockwork. I would have much preferred to ban that out. Flying. So instead. AUI is actually going to head up to the top lane here. The charge is coming in on DDC. They really wanted to fight this one. AUI goes under ROTK. They're trying to threaten both of these heroes at the same time. ROTK does not have a charge here. And for another five seconds, puts himself in the trees. But PBD locked on, gets that first blood. And now maybe they're going to go for a second one. DDC does not have his Arctic burn anymore. AUI is searching for that opening. Evil Geniuses are a bit low. AUI going for it now. Starts the right click battle. They also have the Spirit Breaker Illusion that's coming in. DDC frantically trying to eat through the trees, but doesn't have enough. Cold Embrace is popped, and AUI realizes now is the time to retreat. With the Cold Embrace there, DDC bought himself enough time. Yeah, and he's still just... They want to go for the gank at top, and then immediately pressure the tower. 
You have the charge onto ROTK. He also still has his ultimate, but he's hit by the charge. Now the shotgun oh, shot latches, and ROTK is done for. But so too does the Razor fall. Evil geniuses were not expecting this many heroes. E home cleanup two for one. Samael, he's got to be careful here. He does have 17 wand charges. Maybe just trying to bait E home into a bad situation. An incredible amount of farm. Same with the storm. That's why you send the support there. It just doesn't cost you a whole lot. You're actually YJ healing. Ooh, yeah, he may actually be able to run him down. YJ's gonna make the TP out. Fear. Oh, he barely has enough damage. Thanks in part to that Ion Shell. A huge kill. Stopping that tier one tower from. This tier two is gonna open up a lot. It's gonna be hard for them to Whoa, blink forward. He grabbed ROTK. There goes the Golden Brace. ROTK will live through this one. There's no way EG can threaten him any further. Charge comes in. Oh, RTK sneaks one step ahead. Now PBD is going to be threatened. The cast bounces to him. CTY going to pull him back even further. Bobby with the vacuum and the shackle shot. They now go for CTY. Winter's curse to cancel it, but PBD still gets the kill. Now Fear moves forward with the extra damage he has and chases away the rest of the home. PBD on the hunt, but decides to cancel that charge. Evil Genius is playing pretty disciplined. Hi, four man smoke. Was looking for a pickoff in the middle lane, but they're actually going to find it now in top lane. If they can get both here, this will be huge. DDC just gets melted immediately by some ale. CTY is going to jump in immediately. Oh, it up. oh, we have to force the Bloodstone Suicide. YJ, incredibly important. He gets out of this one. Shuriken comes in. Mac actually keeps him alive, but not good enough. Some ale still fights the damage. Bottom's going to be caught as well. The Shackle Shot catches him. And ROTK, he's sitting there going, what can I do, guys? You've got to force the buybacks. Evil geniuses are now going to push uphill. And Ehome, they only have a buyback on the Storm Spirit and the Witch Doctor. There will be a no Phantom Lancer for this fight. Yeah. I mean, Sumail is just going insane right now. There goes the Winter's Curse. Sumail is kind of caught here. CTY is going to make the large jump. They manage to vacuum in too. ROTK desperately needs to get off that Supernova and does. Sumail is going to fall. And now Ehome on the pursuit. They're going to try and catch some more, but they've only just gotten Sumail. Still a gigantic kill. And Ehome. Still have yet to really force that initiation. Looks like they're trying to wait this one out. Lotto's gonna be caught here. A blink forward by some ale, immediately arcing it up. But what a great back wall! Catches in for PBD, charges going for RTK. Trying to lock down that Phoenix ahead of the Supernova. He will not be able to get it off. Winter Curse played onto Fear. He's gonna be dropping low here, but he does have that Aegis to work around. Evil geniuses start packing themselves up. e -Hope gotta be careful as they pursue because Samael is already ready to go. Bouncing with the shackle shot. CTY can save. There goes the egg, but CTY still falls. The egg explodes immediately. And evil geniuses have just taken down three with no buyback. Have five still up and are ready to go for the second. No, they're going to go straight for the tier fours. They want to end this game right here, right now. They have the perfect opportunity to do it. A fourth down. Winter Wyvern dead. And GG is the call. Evil geniuses will move. Sumail at the end of this game from start to finish just goes absolutely ham. His team just patting him on the back.